Hi, I'm Bill, and you're watching the Astro Vagabond channel. And I'm uh, doing this video in red light because uh, I've got visual astronomers on both sides of me, so I'm trying to be um, courteous and making sure my light profile, my white light profile, is, uh, is nil. So uh, the purpose of this video is I want to put a, a warning, maybe, of sorts of around the uh, B-Link U59, which I purchased uh, in April. And uh, it has become unstable. So it's in only a few months. Uh, first thing was the wireless uh, chip um, seemed to have an issue. And again, uh, I went on Reddit and I'm seeing other people that are having issues as well. So I just wanted to give a heads up. Um, it, I basically called it a night as far as my Edge HD8, uh, which is fine. Um, I'm continuing to image with the uh, Xenostar and the uh, 533 MC Pro and uh, ASI Air Plus. So that's all um, going well. So yeah, the... Um, Tonight it became very unstable. I had an issue uh, a couple of nights ago with the U59, the B-Link mini computer. Uh, I might have uh, created a situation where two devices had the same IP address. Um, I resolved that issue. But part of what I'm getting now, in addition to the wireless uh, dropping out all the time, um, I'm getting... Um, indication in Nina that the uh, files won't download uh, from the camera and those type of things. So uh, clearly earlier today I did some research and clearly on uh, Reddit people are reporting issues with the uh, uh, B-Link uh, U59 uh, mini computer. So uh, what did I decide to do since everything's going really well with my ASI Air Plus and my Xenostar 61 and the uh, ASI 533MC Pro, I decided to come in and uh, have a glass of wine. Uh, I always travel with uh, beer, a few bottles of wine, and bourbon, but I never drink when I'm uh, imaging, you know. Uh, but I just thought tonight was a good night to kind of celebrate a good week. Uh, I had a really good week here. Uh, came in uh, this past Sunday, tonight, Saturday. And I'm out tomorrow with a stop in Goleta for the night before I travel on up into uh, San Mateo, California. I don't like to drive more than four or five hours a day uh, these days. So, But yeah, just want to give you a heads up on the B-Link U59. I still have some more investigation to do when I get home. I'll be able to dig into it. I do have uh, two laptops with me, but... Um, I uh, could have created a situation where I could have continued to work on the uh, Edge HD using one of my laptops, but really I, I didn't want to put the effort in. Uh, I was a little tired from, uh, you know, uh, five, six nights of imaging where you just uh, get uh, on and off uh, sleep and that. So, but in the future, I'll make sure that I, I have a well-defined backup uh, solution and can quickly implement it. The other thing with the B-Link U59 going down, maybe it is the opportunity to get a second ASI Air Plus. Um, again, I am very impressed with the capabilities uh, of the device. Uh, I've started to research some new features that they're going to bring out in future releases. That looks very promising. And I really don't see any issue with uh, using it on my Edge HD8, really. Uh, there are some features in Nina, uh, like Hocus Focus and those type of things, uh, aberration uh, detector or whatever. Um, but I could still, from time to time, if I needed to use those services, I could hook my laptop up. Uh, just for troubleshooting purposes or diagnostic purposes and fire up Nina and have those things available. Um, and uh, for collimation, I, I do want to use Metaguide uh, to collimate with, and I can run that on a 
standalone uh, laptop, <clears throat> do the collimation in the early uh, part of the evening, and then just uh, flip over to the uh, ASI Air Plus uh, to manage the night of imaging. So, well, that's just the way it goes. I'm disappointed on the U59. I think I spent about 350 bucks on it. I'll have to go into Amazon. I'm going to see if I can return it. Uh, clearly, I couldn't return it to Amazon. Some people reported that these things happened after a Windows update. So I'll look into that and maybe there's some solutions. I'll try and reach out to the support team at, uh, at B-Link. It, it's a great little device when it was working and it has a great profile and it fit real well on the top rail that I put on the uh, Edge HD8. So there was a lot of pluses. Um, but again, maybe it's the ASI Air Plus and I eliminate the U59 and the Pegasus uh, Astro Pocket Power Box Advance. Um, and uh, no downside to that. Maybe I can resell the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance. Oh, and I also want to uh, put my uh, QHY Pole Master up for sale because I just don't use it anymore. I do everything through the through the tube uh, these days. And um, so I'm going to do that. So, all right, well, I'm, uh, I'm going to call it an early night. I don't want to any, offend anyone that doesn't drink alcohol, but I'm, I'm having a little to celebrate. It was a great week. It was worth the effort to come down here and I'm probably going to go out and, uh, walk around. There's a lot of large Dobsonian, um, telescopes here. The person next to me has a 20 inch uh, mirror. Um, and the way these things work, as you probably know, if you've been to these type of events, uh, you can just walk up and, uh, generally they're looking at something and they'll let you look, uh, uh, through the eyepiece and everything. And it's pretty cool. Uh, some of the things you can see live photons, you know, through the, uh, through the eyepiece. So, all right, that's about it. I'm in good shape. I think I'll figure everything out when I get home as far as the B link and what my next solution is going to be. The only downside is the wait times on the ASI air pluses. Uh, but in my backyard, I think, uh, I'll probably do a test run and take the ASI air, uh, off my, uh, HQ five mount and, uh, put it on the, uh, um, on my top rail of my, uh, edge hd8 and uh and fire it up and and see what that looks like but before i do that i gotta fix my collimation and uh i gotta make sure that uh, my elongated stars go away so uh, i've got some work to do yet and um i'll i'll figure it all out when i get home but tonight i'm uh i'm celebrating in sorts and i'm looking forward to getting home and seeing my wife and uh then start making plans for the uh, next new moon, which is right after Thanksgiving or might even be around on Thanksgiving. So I'll probably head down to uh, Landers. But when I get home, I've collected a lot of data from uh, uh, using my Xenostar uh, Z61 with uh, a lot of mosaics. So I'll work on getting that processed and, and share some of those images in a video as well as put it up on uh, on my astro bin. Uh, that's one thing when I get both scopes going, I'm going to produce, uh, twice as much data, which means I'm going to have to price, uh, process twice as much more. And in my last video that I put up asking if the ASI 533 MC pro is the right, uh, sensor size to match with my, uh, Xenostar Z61 mod two, uh, not only doing mosaics, it, it, you know, it, it, it requires more integration time in a sense, because you're shooting multiple panes. Whereas if you devoted all that time to one pain, uh, you know, you, you, you have a higher, uh, number of hours of integration rather than having it split between two panes or four panes. Uh, but, um, so again, uh, it's not just the processing time. It's also the uh, data, data collection time, but anyway, all right. I uh, just want to give you an update. Uh, since I did mention in prior videos, the B link U 59, and I made positive comments about it and everything. Uh, I just wanted to give an early warning that I am 
experienced some issues with the B-Link uh, U59. And if I, as I dig into Reddit, I see other people are as well. Still don't know what any resolution might be um, and where things stand, but I'll uh, keep you posted in a future video. Other than that, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And be sure and check out the affiliate marketing links in each video description. Uh, and uh, please consider using them. It doesn't cost you any money to use those links. And if you happen to purchase something through those links, then I get a few pennies in uh, affiliate marketing credit. Uh, and that's always helpful. All right. Other than that, uh, we're thank you for dropping into the channel and subscribing. And wherever you may be in the world, clear skies. I hope this video turns out okay with this lighting. Other than that, see you next time. Signing off from Borrego Springs, California, Bortle for skies a uh, beautiful place and uh i'll come back again that's for sure till next time